So now that your glass has finished drying and your little motifs there have also finished drying, and give them about three to five minutes before you actually stick them on there or else they might become permanently attached to your glass and you don't want that to happen. So you just take them and you just pull them up and then you just stick them right where you want, right on the glass. And then just press them down and they become kind of like little stickers. You might want to give you an issue. You just might have to use the heat of your finger and press down as good as possible. And I'm just trying to eye it up. Not gonna be it's not gonna be perfect, but try your best. And you can just place them however you want. Fine, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just make it however you would like. And then we'll just stuck one on the bottom. There we go. Just like that. Alrighty, so once it's all stuck, just like that, you see how easy that was, just make sure that they're stuck down as good as possible. Then you just take your glass paint in whichever color, and make sure that they're shook up really good. And a lot goes a long way, just remember. <laughs> the yellow never wants to open for me. The yellow never did want to open. really stuck. Here we go. There we go. And red just a bit. Take your sponge, and you can just, these, I just got these at the dollar store, you just cut them up, and then you just dip your sponge right into here, and then if you have too much, you just dab some out, and hold on, I will be right back. Sorry about that. I have to come back. And you just take, you just dab some on there just like that, and then you just go right around your little star or whatever you had. You can use moons or hearts or anything like that. And then you just dab just like that. And you can make it as dark or as light as you want it. Make sure you get around the star pretty good. Just like that. And there you go. And you can mix the colors up too, however you like. It's up to you. Or you can keep them sharply defined. If you have too much, then just dab. And... Just go around just like that. Make sure you get it to the edges if you would like it. Just do however you want. And
And so you get it on there real good around your stars. And if you don't have enough, you just dab. And then you can press down really hard. Just like that. And then just turn. That looks uh to be me, probably. And dab and then just like that. And you just go all over the whole thing just like that. And then when you're done, I'll show you that in just a quick second. Go all over. That's what it's smudge. And just quick dab just like that. Go for the red now. Now, normally you were I was supposed to use water-based glass paints, but I couldn't find any of those, so I just decided to use what was there. If you have water-based glass paints, then I recommend using those. But if you don't, then the chrome enamel ones work really well. I've been using them for a while now. There we go. I mean, it's really simple. It's really fast. It's really just that quick. And now that you're done and you've got it however you would like it, you just take your craft knife and I just have a, not a craft knife, but my, I forgot to put it together with the dum dum. Take it or a razor or something that you can pull, pull up under and then you just take it and then you just Slide it under, don't smudge the paint as much as possible, and then you just peel up your motif and there you go. It may not be perfect, don't worry, don't freak out, it's not, it's not going to be since the paint sometimes does get up under what you were working on. Just like that. And you're just going to let this dry for about an hour or so. And then you're actually going to, and then I'll be back with um, what I used to watch.